Hey y'all, it's Amber and Steven. Welcome back to our channel. Today is Way in Wednesday. If you're new around here, <laughs> dude, we ain't even made it like 17 seconds and you're already growling. I didn't like my way in this week. Oh, uh, anyways. Anyways, if you're new around here, we are on a journey to a healthier lifestyle using keto as our mode of transportation. Yeah. Um, and we also do keto on a budget, and we try to make the whole family eat as low carb as possible. Now, the kids still eat a lot of junk food at school. It's supposed to be healthy, though. It's supposed to be healthy. <laughs> Whatever. We'll get there in a minute. Anyways, it is my week 27 on this journey and... Week 14. Because I finally wrote it down, y'all. Isn't everybody yeah, excited down, for so us? I remember. Yeah, we have a cheat sheet. Would have been smarter if we would have put it like up here so we could have saw it though. But anyways. I can see it. Look, I can read what it tells you right now. Uh, Yours is only... good. Mine is bad. <laughs> There you go. Thanks for coming, y'all. <laughs> no. Okay, so last weekend, I, I weighed, last week, week, I weighed in at 177 pounds. Even um, this week, I weighed in at 175.8. You still count that point. Hell yeah, I am. I'm not rounding up. I done, we done talked about this. Anyway, so that makes me down... 1.2 pounds this week, which after the ho hot dog holiday fiasco that I would call Monday, <laughs> I will take that. I will tell y'all there was a lower number than that because y'all know I weigh in every day. And there was a lower number somewhere Saturday-ish or so, and I wish I could tell y'all that number, but next week. So anyways. Mine was not good. I don't even want to say it. It was not good. I was 204 last week. I'm 206 this week. Hot dog, horrible weekend. We went to a birthday party Saturday. I didn't eat no cake. A hot dog, hamburger there. And had hot dogs everywhere we went Monday. And That's all you ate at the birthday party? Yeah, that's all I ate at the birthday party. Besides a few chips. Mm -hmm. That's all I ate. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're referring to the other thing, that was a drink. <laughs> that was not eating. That was a drink. I had one beer, and that was it. Yeah. But my blood sugar was good, and the scale was still good when I got up Monday morning. Yes. It's the Monday morning, or the Monday hot dog fiasco that made both of our scales go up. You had the wedding ring thing. Have you been able to put your wedding yeah, ring back on? I got it back on today. Okay. So we went and got our wedding ring sized down, like our real ones that we wear all the time. We were so excited. We finally got to go get them sized down because we were flinging them off all the time. Mm -hmm. And then after... A day of really bad decisions. Very non-keto bad decisions. Somebody couldn't put his ring on. Actually, I had my ring on. He had it on. He had to get up in the middle of the night and take it off. So we didn't have to call the fire department for the jaws of life to come get it off. They're not cutting it off. They Sorry. they will cut it no, off. No, they won't. I've seen how to do it. i seen the trick on Facebook. i seen it on Facebook. So by God, I can do it. This man in Facebook. I don't do anything on Facebook except for post pictures of the kids that I took on my phone so everybody can see them so I won't get hounded about it. Literally all I do on Facebook. Keep up with dirt track racing. Anyway. From the air conditioning. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Did you have anything non-scale you want to talk about this week? When did I hit the new number? This week. Oh, yeah. I hit a new blood sugar number. I was happy. It was 69. 
No, no it was happy. 69 last week. I thought it was like 67. Yeah, 67. I was trying to tell you how excited he is, and he doesn't even know the number, y'all. All I know is it was a new number. Mm. So anyways, um, so new low, scales up. Yeah, scales up. It's coming back down. When I get through with this video, I'm going to exercise. I'm going to put in my mile and a half around the block. That's right, because my Fitbit told us exactly how much it is. And I'm going to do it way sooner than I did last time. You must not be taking me with you. I don't know. Unless you want to go, then we'll do it our normal pace. <laughs> <laughs> I just cannot do that. He likes to run and jog. and Don't run. This physique does not run. We're trying to get rid of the physique. This physique jogs. The joints cannot handle the running. Mm -hmm. Cool. So. Somebody went and done blood work, y'all. And she finally got her, she finally brought her results home with you. My results? Yeah, results. I got res I got dessert stuck in my head because of dang. All we're thinking about is dessert around here. Okay. So, yeah, we had a health fair at work, and it was sponsored and gone through by the same people that a couple weeks ago, or almost a month ago, um, I did the little online health assessment and found out, like, my real age was 41, and it, it was terrible. That paper don't tell you that, does it? My app updated and says my real age is now 37. Oh, wow. Which is still high. What? But. This is Zoe behind us. Of course. Hi, Zoe. Hi. Okay. You nice, fresh, and clean. Bye, Zoe. When are you going to get the pictures out? There's some to start looking look. at. Look. She has to do a scrapbook page, y'all. But anyways, so I went to this health fair thing, and they sent us an email, and they were like, oh, you have to come fasting. And I'm like, oh, that sounds like a load of fun. On a day, she had to go to the dentist. Yeah. So I had to go to the dentist, get clean teeth, fast all morning. I was late for my appointment. And I get there, and they're sticking us for blood. Wow. I get that all the time. I don't. Turn into a pin cushion. I don't, I don't take medicine. I don't take medicine, so I do not get it. It's not by choice. Mm. So anyways, uh, they did a total cholesterol panel. And so I went back and looked at like some old lab results. And what are you laughing about? I'm laughing that you can carry your past lab results. Mine would be in a binder. We put like everything. Like four inches thick. <laughs> this is mine. This is everything that I have from the last um, four years of my life. <laughs> anyway. Overachiever. Oh, I know. Well, it's all on the internet, baby. Four years. Mine's two years, and it's four times that size. Okay. So they did our, they did your like total cholesterol, your HDL, your LDL, your triglycerides, all that fun stuff. And so my total cholesterol is normal. It's supposed to be under 200. Mine was 183. Last time I had it drawn, I think it was like, yeah, 172. So, not much of a change there, in my opinion. My HDL was 49, and I got flagged on it. Because as a woman, apparently it's supposed to be 50. If I was a man, it only had to be 40. I'm like, really? By one point, I get some nasty little star that says... HDL is the good cholesterol because it helps remove the bad cholesterol. And so then I get this little nice flyer. Nutrition guide to your cholesterol. And I was like, thank you for that. For one point being too small. 
And then, of course, you know, it has to have the USDA bullcrap plate here. You know, the kind that really got us fat to begin with, where over half of your plate should be grains. Uh, no, no, it doesn't. Thank you, but no thank you. About all I'm going to follow on this thing that they gave me is I'm supposed to increase my omega-3s by you eating need more, more fish. No. Almonds. Shrimp. I don't eat fish. Walnuts and Bug almonds. Money. You just don't eat tuna. Well, that's what this says. Mackerel, salmon, tuna, tuna or sardines. And I'm not eating I don't none eat of sardines. So, almonds it is. Or you could just eat shrimp. Shrimp has whatever that was. Hey, okay. if you're on this camera, you're doing homework. You're not doing your homework. Okay, so then my bad cholesterol, my LDL, was 122. And it's supposed to be under 100. And so it was kind of borderline too. So I got a little slash mark out beside that. And what you're supposed to do for that is not eat bacon. I'm okay. Overachiever. Thank you, nurse. We're going to leave that alone too. But the one that did kind of surprise me was um, my triglycerides. My triglycerides on this test were 61. And the last time I had my triglycerides tested, they were 126. So, that's half. I'm an overachiever. I have four times that number. Anyways, so I didn't get dinged on that. So that was good, and I thought like actually lowering your uh, triglycerides while being on keto was a great thing. And so if anybody ever tells y'all that it's going to raise your cholesterol and it's going to raise your triglycerides and all this crap, you know, both of us have been Mine tested. went from 530. Went from 530 to 79. Yeah. So, no. Do your own keto life, and let's move on, y'all. So they tested my glucose fasting was 61, which was a perfectly normal. They take took my blood pressure. My blood pressure's never high. Yours is always high. Just pick it when you I call. I should have have more high strung, but anyways, considering how high strung I am, y'all, my blood pressure is really good. But it was 114 over 82, and apparently now. It needs to be less than 80, and so they busted me on my diastolic number. I'm like, are you freaking joking me? Can't even say that word. What? Diastolic. You're, You're filling. Saying. Great job. Welcome. You could work at a cardiologist's <laughs> office like I do. Anyway, so then I got this nice, healthy paper that talks about your healthy numbers. And apparently I'm in the elevated but not high blood pressure, which is bull. Um, but anyways, the thing that really got me on this one was the cut your salt. Like aim for less than 1,500 milligrams of sodium a day. Y'all don't do that if you're on keto. That's going to make you feel terrible. <laughs> we, we need more salt than that. So that was something. I was very excited about the waist circumference, though. Apparently, in females, it needs to be less than 35 inches. And they measured mine at 33.5. And I have no idea where they got their tape measure from or where the hell they were measuring at. Because I've never seen less than 35 on my tape measure. So, I'll take that. I can't even measure myself. And then, my BMI... I have measured you. I know. I said I can't measure myself. Oh, okay. So, then my BMI was 29.6, which put me in the overweight category. So, I am officially not obese anymore. I mean... Look at you. Look at me. I'm feeling kind of special. But, apparently, I'm supposed to be... I weighed in on this thing at 178 pounds. <laughs> And apparently, I'm supposed to be like 145 to be in the healthy weight range. And I know that because then they gave me a pamphlet on that bull crap. Don't you love that? Another chart. Another chart about your healthy weight 
and pre prepare more meals at home. Well, we pretty much do that every single day. Tame the tube. We need to watch less TV. Move more every day, which we try to do. Right size your portions. We're working on that. Enjoy more fruits and veggies. I think we do better with that. Choosing water. We're doing better than that. We're not doing the last part. <laughs> <laughs> we're definitely not doing that. The last part says breastfeed your baby. Not we're doing not that. doing that. <laughs> okay. So anyways. Goodbye. Well, so overall, I think my health grade was down and I was doing better. And so that's all that matters. So... Mm -hmm. Good job, babe. Yeah. I had a good proud week. proud of you. Yay. Hopefully next week your scale will be down and will be. everything will be good. It will so. be. I'm going to run. Well, I'm going to walk and jog. He's going to go walk and jog. Oh. Anyways, well, thanks for joining. If I don't if you're stroke not... out from the heat. It's still hot. Well, you're the idiot still running while it's But I'm sweating. sweat. Up. I'm going to sweat. But you are going to sweat. Good job. Okay, if you're new around here and you want to put up with more of our shenanigans, hit the subscribe button, like Zoe just said. <laughs> like the video, comment down below, and let us know how your week is. We always want to know. Mm -hmm. And anyways, I'll talk to y'all next week. Bye.